going to start this fly with gray 40 or 70 denier thread and uh, size 12, 3x heavy, 2x long nymph hook or nymph sprout. Welcome to Everything Fly Fishing, where we tie flies that don't only catch fishermen, catches fish. Let's get back to the tying. Now we're going to tie in a tail using the guard hair. And I'm going to explain the guard hair. If you see this hair that's kind of like a human hair in this rabbit, the face of the rabbit here, where the hair is here, Nymph. The stuff that looks like a human hair, that's guard hair. Stuff that looks like cotton down inside, that's not the guard hair. You want to use the stuff that kind of looks like a human hair. It's long and straight. That's what guard hair is. That's what you want to tie this tail out of. And you want to freaking hold on to the end of the hair and pull all the cotton stuff out. And that's what you want to use as a tail. I'm going to tie that in about three quarters of the length of the shank of the hook. Or the length of a standard size 12 hook. Now we're going to tie in a piece of thin gold tinsel to use as a rib. So now we're going to use this hairs doubling and we're going to build like a noodle up. And then I like to, after using this, I like to try, trim some of the guard hairs off of this part of the fly. I won't do it for the thorax, but this abdomen part of the fly, I will trim it off and make it a little less hairy. Now we're going to rib that fly with that gold tinsel. Now we're going to tie a piece of this turkey tail in about a quarter inch wide to wrap up over the thorax ones it's dubbed to make a wing case. Now for the thorax dubbing we're going to use the dark 
here is here. You see it next to you when we pointed out the last one, but you can see here it's, it says dark hair is here. We're going to use that for the thorax. And we're going to put that on loose so we can pick it out to represent legs. Now we're going to bend that turkey tail down to represent the wing case, tie it down. And then we're going to pick out that dubbing. You don't need a fancy dub brush or anything. You just use the tip of your scissors to pick it out. I don't think that we're wasting money on them fancy brushes and stuff. Rakes. Thank you for watching our video, Long Riders. Have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed this. We're going back to the basic with some of these flies. Just to teach you with the way they were originally tied. Without altercations. So have a good day. Keep your lines wet. Out of the trees. And only give them fish a sore lip. Unless it improves your waters not to. Have a good day. Peace.